your 9 to 5, your school bell, your morning alarm. That never lets you snooze. All of it runs on time. But here's the real question. Who decided what time even is? Why does the clock tick this way? Why does your day start at midnight? And why does a second in Karachi match a second in New York down to the millisecond? Spoiler, it wasn't nature, it was us. Now, long before Apple Watches and Google Calendar notifications, time was a shadow. The ancient Egyptians built sundials watching sunlight crawl across stone. They divided the day into 12 parts because they literally counted finger bones. And here's the kicker. At night, time didn't exist. You just waited for sunrise. Then came the water clocks of Persia and Babylon, sand clocks, and finally the mechanical beasts of medieval Europe. That's when humans stopped tracking time and started owning it. Factories ran by the hour, workers were paid by the minute, time stopped being nature's rhythm and became money's rhythm. That's where time is money was born. Because once we could measure every second, we could charge for it. But then, chaos. In the 1800s, every city had its own time. London was in Paris, Karachi was in Lahore. Imagine trying to run a train schedule like that. So in 1884, 26 countries met in Washington, D.C. They decided Greenwich, England would be the zero point, the center of world's time. That's how GMT, Greenwich Mean Time, was born. Not because of science, but because of empire. The British rules the seas, the telegraphs, and now the clocks. Colonialism, but make it chronological. After that, the planet got sliced into 24 neat little time zones. China decided to run on just one. India made itself half an hour early off the hour. A tiny rebellion against the British system. Pakistan, GMT plus five, and we've stuck with it ever since. Today, you don't even set your own clock. Satellites do. Your GPS, your flights, your TikTok uploads, all synced to atomic time. The world doesn't run on sunlight anymore, it runs on sync. So next time your alarm screams at 7 a.m., remember, you're living in a system built to make trains on time, factories efficient, and life itself scheduled. Because in this world, every second counts, not just on paper, but in your world, where your paycheck, your deadlines, and your dopamine hits depend on it. Time isn't natural, it's negotiated and somehow we all agreed to live by it.